it, it'll show up. There it is. Okay. Oh, there. Perfect. <laughs> okay. Do I need to have, let's see. Hey guys. Okay. So I want to bring it up. Can you bring it up on another um, tab? I wonder. What the live? Yeah. So I can see if, um, I guess, do comments come up on here? Yeah. It comes up on your right side. It says private chat and comments on the right. Oh yeah. Okay. Perfect. Ah, so in, okay. in private, in private chat, I already said here, do you see me okay, on the private yeah. chat tab? Then go over to the comments. It'll show the live comments as they come through. Perfect. Okay. I did say the streamer thing to begin. So, all right. Hey guys, <laughs> um, I am here live with Boyce. Um, I am so excited. I did not tell any of you that I was going live. Um, this is kind of just last minute thing, but I wanted to bring him on here and um, talk to him just a little bit about the sign party playbook because he is somebody that purchased it and has been totally kicking it with parties. And so, um, hey guys, uh, hey Cheyenne and Trina. Um, so I want to just give Boyce a chance to talk, tell us who you are, and then um, we can get into a little bit about how we met and um, how you got started with parties and so forth. So just take it away let us know. Okay. Well, uh, me and my uh, fiance, Diana, started our business about a year and a half ago. And, but, you know, it's sluggish to start, you know, to get your feet uh, going. And so we were just kind of learning as we went. And then I found Laser Everything. I joined their group and became a paid employee to manage their uh, social media. And then I met Dawn at uh, LBX and we set up an interview with her and she came on and joined us and shared all her expertise and uh, let us know about the sign parties and the playbook and all that stuff. So immediately after our live stream, me, Alex and Kyle and Matt and the missus sat down and says, we, we got to do this. And I was like, I'll do it. I want to do it. I have a growing business. I want to do this. I want to do it for the channel. And so now I am too busy to help with laser everything. Uh, so now I'm just doubling down on, my, on our own business. So now we're, like she said, I bought the playbook and we, we watched it one time through start to finish. Then we just said, okay, let's start over. Let's break this thing down and the buying guide. And yeah, it was very, very helpful. Um, especially if you don't have a, a laser in front of you, like if you have a cricket or something, you can do this with just a, mm -hmm. a, a saw. Yeah. <laughs> and that's one thing I like to tell people too, is because um, it's this, this business is very um, beginner friendly. Like you mm -hmm. don't have to have all this expensive equipment. You don't have to have a big laser. You don't have to have a laser at all. Like mm -hmm. I did over 600 parties before I got my laser. So I just had a silhouette cameo vinyl cutter and um a chop saw and i would just get the planks from the well i started just getting them at you know home depot and menards and stuff and then i went and expanded into like a local lumber company but yeah. you know that's that's it that's all i started with and a nail gun and it's like that's how i grew my business and then yes if you bring a laser in you can expand to different types of projects and different mm -hmm. types of things but um you don't have to do that like when you're starting you don't have to be super fancy or complicated or whatever and if you've followed me for any amount of time you know that i am not fancy at all um i do i try to keep everything as simple as possible except my family size that's what i say um, <laughs> for those of you who are new here i have seven kids and grew my business when all seven of them were underfoot they're still all underfoot but um when they were all little i had seven kids under 11 and so um they were 11 to 1 and it was crazy but it but i did it and that's kind of the point is that you know i know busy i know what it is to be like a mom with all these littles and my husband was gone so much working and that was part of the reason why i wanted to start it was to bring him home more and um help out a little bit and you know it just kind of took off from there so like Boy said, we met at the Lightburn conference in um, last October, and um, I, I recognized him. We were friends on Facebook, but had never talked about, you know, who we are and what we do. And um, 
and yeah, then I found out he had, he was helping out with that podcast and everything just kind of went from there. So, um, okay. So you guys got the playbook and you went through it and you did mm -hmm. not do parties before, right? You were just like no. retail and, and nope. craft shows and birthday gifts and, you know, just a typical, you know, job shop kind Water. of thing from home. Yeah. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you got the playbook and what was that? Um, did you do a practice party? Yes, we did a practice party with uh, a cousin and a coworker. Okay. And so it was me and Diana with those two, and it kind of let us know where our gaps were at. Right, and, and like, that's exactly, like, you guys, yeah. the playbook walks you through your practice mm -hmm. party and why that's important. And yep. as Boyce just said, yeah. that is an important because mm -hmm. you realize what you need to do in order to make your official first party better um you yeah. know what did you forget or what could you do better or you know where was there a lull that you had to pay mm -hmm. attention to or whatever um so that's exactly i'm glad you said that because that's exactly why <laughs> i want everybody to do a practice yep. party i think the practice party helped us realize things you would never think about like take the plastic off the caps oh. <laughs> <laughs> of all the paints because this is we walked into her one friend's like <laughs> like trying to because we didn't have a we didn't have a knife or scissors we're like oh geez so we right, figured out the, okay take all the, the plastic off or the glue tips you know that mm -hmm. that maybe your glue like the top needs to be cut off or something mm -hmm. you know just things like that it, yeah mm -hmm. you might get a little bit frazzled if you're in front of you know 15 people yeah. but if you're just in the little practice party then right um, right you can know that beforehand <laughs> well and it also gives you like because we we tweaked it because we have a laser and i don't want to glue i don't right. want to i want to speed the process up as fast as i can so we have three m backer layers so it's just paint dry stick peel and stick and it's over with like it's very very fast assembly that's the shortest right. time for us is the assembly um so we do a little more complicated signs that take a lot more upfront for painting mm -hmm. but just a little dry time and, and it we can get those things assembled very quickly. And we also figured out that people need a lot of hands-on help at first because right. you can't be wrong with that adhesive. It's right. it's industrial. It stays put. So we, we've learned those things because one of them was kind of wonky because she tried to put on. She was like, oh, no, I messed it up. And I was like, oh, no, it's not going to come off. It's going to tear up the paint and it's going to look crazy, you know, so. Luckily, we were at home. I went and cut her another piece, and she just did it again. And we, we learned that mistake. We could fix it and, and, and go from there. Right. And so all those little things that you don't think, something will go wrong. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely will go wrong. Yeah, mm -hmm. and there, there'll be stuff, like you said, that will come up and you didn't think about or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, and bringing up 3M is a great uh, example, too, of how different that you can be like depending on your personal preference you know right. for me i never did 3m um i always well it, before i had my laser i just did stencils but after my laser um i always did glue and again personal preference right like right. you are like i don't want to deal with glue i want to use 3m perfect i want to use glue like you know you can you can mm -hmm. tweak it and fit your personality and your right preference. right <clears throat> And like for us, we like in your video, you show how to do the mounting. And I was like, okay, I'm going to erase yeah. that step for us because we're just going to cut holes and do a hanger. Right. Like you, you can tweak everything once you go through the process once. Say, okay, that's this way. Let's see. Can we can we make it fit what we're going to do or the designs you want to do? Do you want to add that layer? You can right. simplify or it. or Yeah, the, mm -hmm. the type of project, right? You can right. do a door hanger or you can mm -hmm. do a shelf sitter or you can do right. a tiered tray or you can do, you know, like mm -hmm. there's so many different kinds. You can do um, jewelry or, you know, whatever, like the party model works mm -hmm. for whatever type of project um, that you're doing. So, yeah, yeah. I love yeah. that. Um, okay. So what, what would you say like the biggest takeaway from, um, okay, first of all, First off, what, how many parties have you done? We've and done four months? for this first month. Four? Yeah. This month. Okay. Yeah. Which is your so first month we did, we hosted our own party first to do 10 people, you know, like do it. Yeah. So we went, we had, went, we bought the tape, we bought two six foot tables, two four foot tables from Costco. We bought 10 chairs. 
and we bought drop cloths, we bought plastic, you know, we bought all the things because I would rather have it in our vehicle just in case someone else says they have enough and they don't. Right. Or like we found out you need a place to dry stuff sometimes to clear out the space they're going to need in front of them because some people are just messy. Yeah. They yes. take up more room than others. So we found out, okay, we're going to bring our table and chairs just in case they're like, hey, we don't, can we put them on our couch to dry? We don't want to do that. Right. So we're just going to have our tables. We're, so we bought tables, the chairs, and we just went all in. Um, so we did one at our house and then that, and that produced another one, you know, so they just kind of, it's a self prophesizing kind of self feeding machine. Yeah. And um, that's the thing too. Like um, once you get that first party booked, those mm -hmm. people, at, yep. somebody just, is going to want to host their own. And then mm -hmm. it just kind of, you know, the, it's like a wildfire that just kind of spreads. Um, mm -hmm. and you know, I did for my first month too, and then I did eight my second month. So you might have a little bit coming to you here in March. You guys might pick up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Well, and now we've got a better idea of, uh, so we're trying to do the, the parties as a seasonal thing. You know, you go by whatever's happening. Mm -hmm. Easter's next. We got St. Patty's, you know, we got spring and summer coming, but we're leveraging more into now we're trying to leverage into birthday parties for like element, older elementary school kids, like eight, nine, 10 year olds. Mm-hmm. And so yeah. like we we actually worked on our own graphics and uh wait so we did a little mock-up of a small little thing. this lady says my daughter loves hawaiian stuff lilo and stitch so we said okay she wants a surfboard i was like fine we can make a surfboard yeah. you know so we're trying to do little things like this that are simple enough for kids to paint we do all the assembly because we can't trust them you know right. but that's something we're trying to figure out like what's that timing look like we haven't done one yet that's what we're gonna be doing next month already that's the next one is a new venture yeah. and look it's a it's a friend that we know it's her kid so she'll be a little more forgiving you know right. to to, to yeah. uh, practice run with her at her house but like there, there's so many avenues this can branch off right and all of a sudden you might be overwhelmed and be like, oh crap. Yeah. Uh, you got so much going on. Um, time. Right. I mean, mm -hmm. and like you said, okay, so you're branching into party or um like birthday parties. Right. I mean, yes. you could do mm -hmm. um somebody that loves animals could just focus on like the humane society fundraisers or yes. animal shelters and stuff, or someone else mm -hmm. could just do um like when I was done doing my parties um before I moved about 85% of my parties were bachelorette parties. And so, you know, we were in like the bridal scene, you know, so like there's so many different um, facets that you can <laughs> go into and advertise these things for. Um, yeah, it's great. So I love, so you had four parties your first month and you have some on the books already coming up yeah. um, for March. So what would you say is like, like one of the bigger takeaways that you got out of the playbook? Well, for me personally, it was the uh, setting up the Google form. That's huge because you can use that in anything else. It's very organized. And then once you figure out the flow of that, you can say, okay, I'm going to make a folder for just my Google forms. So I can say Google form for Diana's party, Google form for Dawn's party. You can just have them all there. And then once you have that template in your course, it shows copy it, save it under another name, copy it, and save that original template. And then you have all these templates set up for a birthday party versus a different type of fundraiser party. And any other products you make can actually be. So I'm looking at possibly sitting down and just taking a weekend to make a form for every product we have. Nice. I'm going to make one form of just everything and possibly might not even need Shopify. Yeah. I think that's the biggest thing. It's a great be, tool. Because you also learned in the playbook how to what? Set your payments, baby. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so through your, so you just use Lightburn, you make a QR code and you put it on a graphic and send flyer emails. to. So we're getting into the school fundraisers. Um, I can't even show like something simple as this so you can't really it's kind of offset but there's a school that has that's their mascot and a paw so i went through cmb to make this acrylic customized cut a shape make an earring that's it folks 
And so we found a way that we're going to leverage this into more parties for fundraisers for the schools too, for the senior trips. This is for an after prom party. And then you got all the sports and yeah. choir. And like we talked about before, the choir, the band, everything, the arts, especially the arts. Yeah. Like that's where we need to lean into because we need to support arts, you know? Uh, but yeah, I think that's a way of one place is just a school, but it is significant. Yeah. Like you and said, I really do like the idea of the, of the humane society too, is another thing I'd right. really. Yeah. So you're saying too, that you take that, your Google form, mm -hmm. you make that QR code and you just um, give them that QR code and they just order yep. it right from there. Cause it brings you could, them right to Google doc. Yeah. You could be at the restaurant wearing your own earrings and sell them while you're at dinner. Like, think about that. You can have it on your phone. They say, Oh, I'd love to buy those, man. How can I get them? Here's a QR code, bam, mm -hmm. stink, boom, and uh, here's your address. I'll ship it to you. Yep. You know, like it, it, that that Google form is, you know, significant value to me because yeah. I wasted a couple of days of my life. <laughs> yeah. Like if I hair, if I had hair, I would have pulled it out <laughs> um, because I was very frustrated with with the flow. It didn't work for me. Like, because once you get in a Google form, you see that it translates to the flow sheet, the Google sheet, but it doesn't look the way you can't find what you're looking for right but then you learn through that that this is how it goes this is how it looks it's going to be simplified and then yeah. and it's all paid right in there oh that saved me so much time and stress because it's stressful to learn guys it's stressful to learn time is money and if i had learned i told dawn before if i had learned this a year ago holy smokes my fiance might not be teaching much longer honestly that's that's our goal this summer I want to replace her income this summer. Awesome. Period. I want her to stay home and double down on the business some more. Because I still got healthcare through my job. That's all that matters. You got to have healthcare. And then she can double down and, and come home and just get busy. That's yeah. our goal for the summer. I, I think that. it's possible. <laughs> yeah, I do too. And I, I love too the fact that, um, and I had mentioned this to you, like you don't have to be techie you don't have to be you know that was the one thing or one of the things that held me back at the beginning um because i didn't know any better i didn't have any tools i didn't have any courses i didn't have any mentors um i that i thought i had to get a website built and figure out all the back end yeah. stuff and whatever and Big then I, yeah and then when i came across or figured out it was actually my sister-in-law that was like hey why don't you just use a google form for their registration and i was like what like right oh my gosh and then i figured out the thing and whatever right. and um yeah it's just when people start over complicating it mm -hmm. you don't have to yes and i think that your 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 playbook kind of shows how to simplify your flow too um because i know a lot of people struggle just being organized yeah it's it's hard to get if you're not from an organized background like if that's not your um but that's not your skill set, man. Like some people are fly by see their pants. You cannot do that with this. Mm -hmm. You've got to be organized because you're going to get some in there. And like, I have 10 signs that are cut three M on the back, sanded and then shrink wrapped marker, their name on there. And then we, we actually go and print out the, uh, photo, a reference photo for their sign for like paint scheme. It's just like, you know, basic photo, but we put their photo and their name on there as shrink wrap. They're just sitting there. They're just money sitting up there. That's yeah. $400 guys. It's just $450. It only costs maybe 30 bucks right. in wood and 3M. Like I've done the math. It's, it's less than 50 bucks. I know that. And that's the thing too. Like there's so much profit margin in these, mm -hmm. um, especially if you make your own, you know, um, backings and whatever, even if you don't have a laser, the one by fours or, you know, mm -hmm. uh, a plank side, like a porch sign or whatever. Um, so much, so much profit margin. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's just, just time. You got some people asking about the book though, in the comments. Yeah, I was just going to say, um, yeah, so I will link it. Um, you can find it on my website, but I will link it. Um, when we're done, I don't even know how to, can I comment anything here? Yes. You can go into the comments at the bottom right corner. 
it won't let me write anything, but I'll just, I'll link it when we're done. Um, you can find it on my website, but mm -hmm. I'll link it after, um, as well, but yeah. So, and, um, for those of you that are in my membership in, um, the collective, which is what my membership is called now, um, I am going to be walking through the playbook with you guys in the month of March. So if you're not in the collective and you want to be, send me a message, post, tag me, whatever, I'll get you the link um, to join that. Um, otherwise you can just get the playbook, um, as well, but yeah. Um, all right. Well, that's it boys. We won't take any more of your time, but I just wanted to kind of bring you on here as an example of somebody that is rocking it, that took the playbook and just ran with it and went out and not only did a party, mm -hmm. but did multiple and mm -hmm. has more, you know, in the, in the yeah. pipeline coming and you have goals with it and you're doing it your way and i'm loving all of that so well, um, and the, guys this is all about exponential growth mm -hmm. word, word of mouth exponential growth yeah that's what you want in a business yeah Period. and one of the things and one of the things too that um that i love about this business is that you don't have to and i'm going to be talking about this more um on here too, not tonight, but soon is that you don't have to bother your family or friends if you don't want to, like, it's not like the typical, that's why the only thing I don't like saying a party, because a lot of people think like Tupperware party and whatever, and like you have to bug your family or mm -hmm. friends or whatever. Um, I didn't ever ask my family or friends until, mm -hmm. well, I didn't, I don't think I ever did. They wanted to have one after like a year that mm -hmm. I was already doing parties. Right. Um, but because I, I learned to tap into other people, you know, like the schools or businesses mm -hmm. that want team building or fundraisers or that sort of thing. Like right. you don't have to just put it out there and hope that people are going to sign up. Like I can teach you ways to get out there and to um, get your spots filled without even telling your family or your friends. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I haven't had a single family member or friend has been like Diana's co-workers have signed up. She works with mostly females right. that are young parents, you know, like, you know, it just, it's self-fulfilling, honestly, once you put the product out, but the big, like she said in the course too, it's all about taking pictures of the process and sharing it. Yeah. That's the big thing. Yep. And it's in yeah. the course. It's all in the course, yeah. how to, how to time these things out and stage it and generate leads pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, thank you mm -hmm. so much for your time. Um, there's Absolutely. a couple of people that said um, it was nice to see you and all that. So again, thanks for being here. Mm -hmm. um, I'm so cheering you on and I'm going to, I'm going to keep in touch with you because I want to see um, what you do, especially this summer and oh, yeah. hopefully Diana won't have to go back to work. <laughs> right that's the idea <laughs> <laughs> yeah all right well thanks a lot all right um, no problem all right we'll talk to you guys soon all right <laughs>